Hey guys, X Brown Bear here, and welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Within on Possible Iron Man difficulty. So, we're going to be doing another Exalt mission. Hopefully, this this or one more will be the last one we have to do. So, I, I'm gonna bring, you know, a team that can get a few promotions. We're gonna give Ribley, just keep Ribley as support though, uh, as our mech for our team. But basically, this is where we're gonna run, be running. Everyone here hasn't been promoted all the way yet, so. We could hopefully, you know, pass out another whole, get a whole another set of kernels before we, I don't know, I guess max, I want to say max up because we can always lose soldiers in the future, but you know, then we'll have uh, two teams full of kernels, so hopefully, you know, th that'll make the game, you know, go smoothly from now on. So let's get started. Okay, so, looks like it's gonna be a... Nah, it's another one of those ambiguous missions. Okay, I guess it's a daylight mission. It's like it's at that car garage. Uh, if you remember, this is one of our most tough, mi toughest missions early on against aliens, and we had ballistics. So, and almost everybody died, but luckily no one died. Pretty scary mission. But if Exalt manages to hack the encoder, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. If they hack yeah, okay, we gotta start heading towards there, of course. The data intact will be lost. It's like a pretty small map. Actually, it's not exactly the same as before, but pretty similar. Well, let's start heading out, I guess. See if we see anything. Nope, guess not. And... Hmm, should I run too much forward? Nah, it's, it's risky. We'll have our operative scout out in this area. Okay. I already see one of the communications arrays. We can, we can probably use that in the future. I don't want to peek in there because I don't know what's in there per se. Where's Pop Daddy? Did I bring him? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. So we're going to need him to throw away a battle scanner further down this area. And I'll determine if we can run up or not. Okay. Oh, just two, scan two little transponder arrays here. That's good. I guess it's safe to start bringing people up. We'll bring our mech up front first. I think we'll bring them up all the way. We'll just bring them up a little bit. Because that won't reveal too much terrain. Okay. So yeah, I guess we just run everybody up then. Just bring, bring them in undercover. So battle scaler is pretty useful. It's, it's nice to have somebody on it. Uh, we'll actually keep you here just because we don't want to peek inside that room. Hypothetically, there could be somebody in there. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so set, set everybody up, and now we have alien grenades in case we need those. Okay, doesn't look like we saw anybody yet, so uh, yeah, let's move well, Lariska up. Oh, still nobody. Interesting. I wonder where they could be. Maybe I should peek again. Oh, okay, so that's where they are. There's a heavy there as well. Let's see where he runs. Yeah, interesting spot. Let's see, 80% chance is pretty good, but I think we want another shot at the guy. Might take a run and gun and bring Lariska forward, because, also because she's being flanked right now. And we want to get the heavy. So, looks, looks like he's gonna die. Oh, what? I jinxed myself right there. Unfortunately, everyone else is kind of far away unless we run and gun forward. I don't think you're going to be able to see anybody from there. I feel like the sniper should get longer range, just for sight. Moving. We can always bring people up if we need to. Now, we want his parts, so we probably will we'll just shoot him. Rather than using a grenade, because we want those weapon fragments. Because we're getting a little behind in research. And I don't know how far he can move, unfortunately. Or can you run a gun? You could probably run a gun here. It's not too bad of an idea. Okay, 
That was perfect. You can see somebody. Nice. Uh, I just like the look of the exalt weapons over our own weapons, personally. <laughs> and if we really need to, I think we can... Oh, we could just reach here. Perfect. But no need to do that yet. Uh, actually, probably need to. Yeah, let's, let's just wait, use one of our running guns and turn off their weapons. It'll, it'll be easier than having to run a gun everybody. Close enough to one of those exalt communications relays deployed throughout the area. Yeah, okay, well, they then we'll just move him forward regularly. Disable exalt Save a few running guns. The recovered data's encryption keys. Enemy communications are down. That should keep exalt busy for a while. And I guess we'll overwatch. He has a plasma pistol now, if we recall. I've got to switch his weapon. He's, he's only using a regular pistol. I'll bring it here. Okay, so now they're just gonna go ahead and be stupid. Or head for that little comedic or the colder, but whatever. Not too concerned about that. We've got multiple hostiles inbound on strike one's position. Yeah, okay, so there's another guy who wants to get flanked. Huh, someone's hiding behind there. Probably use the grenade blow him up. If we don't prevent them from gaining access, they're going to find the transmitter's coordinates. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I just move up and kill him. Oh, we found more guys. Well, we can always... Uh, actually, I'm not sure if we can disable another array. So we might have to start blowing up some stuff. Let's just take him out. We don't really have a choice. Yeah, let's see. I wonder if we, we can melee somebody. That'd be good too. Or we could blow up this car, but that's kind of risky because we might blow up the thingy as well. Uh, I'm not so keen about doing that. I could run and gun and flank somebody else. Might let's let's do that. Knock him down. Confirmed. Closing on target position now. Who do we want to kill? Is there a heavy here? Let's check that first. Um, no, but they're all about the same chance. Well, probably the sniper is probably the best person to kill. Oh, nice! We kill him one hit. Then we'll move around here with our sniper. You can see somebody. See him. We'll take a headshot. Oh, look at you missing. You miss a lot, don't you? Your aim's not even too bad. Um, you can't really move anywhere good, unfortunately, can you? Might have you run up and body block and then punch someone, I guess. Have you killed this guy? I think some of these guys also have their weapons still disabled. So, actually, this is kind of bad. I kind of left quite a few Exalt alive. More than I thought. Now, where are you? I still have a move with you. Looks like guys are a little slow, unfortunately. You can't even see anybody. Maybe I put myself in a bad position now. Did not make a wise move. I'm paying the price for it. Headed there now. Anything to probably shoot at uh, what's it called? Our mech, hopefully. Why are you so slow? Yeah, now I'm really worried. <laughs> uh, I guess we can't. Just gotta hope luck is on our side. 
Start bringing everybody up at least. Let's see what they do. They'll probably be scared of our mech. Oh yeah, some of them have to reload still, right? So. Yeah, okay, so. Okay, never mind. I didn't need to be scared. That's what I thought. Because since that was a new way, we didn't have to worry yet. We'll risk having promotions yet? Nope. So we'll bring her up. That's why I wasn't too worried, but I, I just wanted to make sure. Hopefully Lariska gets a promotion. I mean, I could punch, but I don't want to blow up that car accidentally. Oh, this car I don't really care about. So, oh, well, you're already, you're already maxed out, so there's no point, um, you know, feeding you any more kills, to be honest. Don't you want to kill? I know you want to kill. Why don't we just take a shot with our mech at someone? We have two shots as well. Let's take a shot at him and then see if we can feed the kill to our sniper. Well, we, oh well. You, you just blew him up. <laughs> I want you to feed the, the kill to another soldier, but whatever. It's fine. Come on, I know you can do it. Nice, okay, great. Still somebody around this door, I know that. Actually, I don't think that's a safe place to hide. It's not like a, a boiler. Let's we'll start heading for this door, because I know that's where the other exalt is. Throw a battle scanner through the building, at least. Eyes open. Maybe it doesn't look through the building. I'm, I'm, some of these um, other gadgets, I, I'm not 100% sure of their use, to be honest. And bring you, I guess I'll bring you here. In case we need to activate this this turn. Or next turn. Overwatch, everybody. Alright, so he's still back there. Closing on the AO. Oh, we got dead people. <laughs> Poor guy. Li life sucks being exalted, doesn't it? Oh, someone's dropped on the roof. Oh, he's overwatched. So that's like one of the upgrades I've been talking about that exalt kind of needs. To not suck so much. Oh well, since you want to be up there, I mean, oh, we want to feed you the kill the possible. Or we can just chuck a grenade up here. Oh yeah, we can. Okay, so why not? Or kind of chuck a grenade, but whatever. Yeah, oh, 100%. You're not even in cover anymore. Bye bye. Oh, covering fire. I didn't think about that, okay. So that's something our little got worried about the medic. Um, what's it called? We gotta worry about those guys in the future for that spell. That's affirmative. Let's open this door. Hello. And good day, sir. Yeah, okay, so... Oh, where's the other guy? Oh, he's another guy there! Yeah, okay, well... Does Lariska have a kill yet? Still doesn't, or still doesn't have the promotion. Okay, give it to Lariska if we can. Okay. So it's, it's gonna be another simple mission. We're, we're just waiting for them to drop in, basically, to pick them up. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a little bit of a disappointment, I guess, in terms of difficulty, but whatever. 
bring you here in case we need to cover the roof. And nothing to disable, so we might as well just overwatch. Oh, maybe there's another wave somewhere. We'll take this turn to reload then. Could it be? Maybe we're just waiting for them to drop down. If that's the case, then we're just gonna position up here. Yeah, I guess there wasn't a alien activity, so I guess there is no aliens. I'm gonna Overwatch then, see where they come from. It looks like this is the last. Okay, yes, yeah, so that, that's basically what happened. We would kill them all too quickly. Oh wow, look, look how much damage that plasma weapon does. Okay. He's down. People just want to die. Oh, except, except our sniper still sucks at aiming. Love it. There's another guy here. And we missed. That's kind of cool, you know, how we can see the entire map. There's some other stores here, too. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, I, I really think all Exalt should start at Overwatch then. Or they should drop in rather than just run around like this. Because at, at this rate, I'm... Oh, okay. So there's another guy up there. He's angry. He probably he probably has covering fire then or something. He's overwatched. So then we might as well chuck a grenade for these guys and soften them up. So yeah. Oh, what the heck? We didn't hit the guy up there. Okay, whatever. We didn't hit either of them. Who did we hit? We didn't hit anybody. Okay, whatever. We'll just take two shots at the guy down here. I mean, well, once you start getting plasma weaponry, which you don't even really have yet, Exalt really start becoming a, a joke. I mean, they weren't the best before, but they're definitely not the best now. Oh, we didn't kill him, whatever. I mean, he doesn't have covering fire, looks like. Take another shot then. Ooh, he doesn't want to die. Okay, it's fine with me. Need to kill some other way. Lol. Life is not good to be an exult <laughs> in this game. Life is not good. I know there's still another guy back there. Yeah, okay, well, we'll use you to take that guy out. And, I, I mean, those communications arrays really are silly to have them in the game. Well, we'll use Wolf to blow up his cover and then beat the kill to someone that, to whoever that is. Oh, look, the Bay's best beer. Oh, well, there goes that. And bye bye, end of mission. Okay, so sorry, wasn't gonna get any more excited than that, unfortunately, but had to be done. Hopefully, get a few promotions for our trouble. And well yeah, Lariska got promoted to Colonel. Let's see, Killer Instinct or Damn Good Ground. Mm. I mean, for you running against her, so we'll give you Killer Instinct. We could give you a shotgun or something in the future. Oh, nice to gain a little bit more aim. Hollow targeting or rapid reaction. Um, your aim's pretty good. This is also pretty good. Hmm. Shall we take? I mean, I, I want you to kill the people, not just, you know. Yeah. So rapid reaction. Let's give you that. 
So yeah, sorry, it wasn't, wasn't going to be the most exciting mission. <laughs> Unfortunately. Fill in their workshop, I guess. Fill a craft set workshop. Why not? And... Well, we're not going to waste it on a project that we're not going to use. Improved pistols, we still don't have enough weapons fragments. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. Oh man, that, that's unfortunate. We need more weapons fragments. We'll just move forward and see what else comes up. Transfer complete. Four ghost grenades for a, a ridiculous amount of money. But I don't think we have the corpses for those ghost grenades anymore because... Oh, those are Seeker Rex anyways. We're, there's no way we're gonna get 16 Seeker Rex. It's like an impossible mission. Titan armor. Okay, we got a cool new mech as well. Um, I guess we might as well go for the EMP cannon. So, we're gonna be building some Titan armor for everybody. There's really no reason not to. Uh, we're gonna need five suits, right? Because our mech is going to be use so the game just keeps getting better <laughs> oh wait we can build new interceptors we should do that oh wait we don't have any enough we don't have enough thingies do we flight computers yeah okay never mind let's keep moving forward then Laboratory online. Additional workshop online. yeah okay great Additional great workshop great great online. great excellent Okay, so whatever, it blew up some of my money, so let's just get another Covert Ops down, and then we'll set up for next episode for the, uh, what's it called, the Exalt Base Raid, basically. So, Wolf, I mean, yeah, we're basically sending Wolf again. Covert Operator deployed to disrupt Exalt Cell in South Africa. Contact oh, it's a large scale. Okay, so looks like this is going to be our next, that's a landing too, so this is going to be our next mission then. We should probably bring in a better squad than... Um, it was a mistake not having, what's it called, lightning reflexes. So we're gonna, Samantha's coming back there. Look, look, look how much health they have now. Give you a scope since your aim is, is crap. Give you a medikit then. Oh, whoops, a scope and a medikit. Actually, can we build any more, the new engineers arrived this um, titan platings? We're always glad Those to have could more be help useful. Scatter lasers, we don't need that. Um, where's kind of plating? Oh no, we can't, unfortunately. That's fine. Uh, UFO landing site, send Sky Ranger. I think I'm available. Give you, oh wait, we have another kind of plating, but we'll, we'll give you a medikit. Mm, yeah, we'll give you a medikit since you'll be in the back, anyways. Lariska's gonna be in front, but let's bring, let's bring, let's bring Lariska. Let's give her our new Titan armor as well. Give you a well. Let's not give you the plasma pistol. Titan plating. Uh, sounds good. And then it doesn't look like she's wearing much armor, does it? Even though she has it off because of the skin. Weapon. I kind of want to get him promoted still, so we'll, we'll bring him in. Um, you know, see why not give him, why not give um, why not give him this. Dalzim will sit you out or bring Zang and Jenkins. Jen Do we want to bring Jenkins or Mendiola? Uh, I guess it's a large scout, so I, I think Mendiola will probably do a little bit better. Give you a nice exalt sniper. We'll give you the plasma pistol too, because you need that. Uh, scope and a medikit. Do you need someone with the arc thrower though? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Zang takes the arc thrower. Arc thrower, and then um, you know what? Yeah, that's kind of. That's, I mean, not that you can't be tanky enough, but I think I should give you a scope. You already got so much HP. Uh, scope would be better, just to improve your aim a little bit more. Weapon. Weapon's kind of squishy, so we probably should keep that. Nah, because the aim isn't the best either. Maybe we just need one... One, uh, what's it called? But I do want to capture more things. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll, 
we'll, we'll take we'll take a little risk. We'll give you give me an art store instead of the scope. Your your aim will be a little bit worse, but I think it'll be okay. You can always run and gun up to them. So this is our squad. Okay, so we're gonna do another double mission since the last mission was just too easy. So let's get started. Okay, so mm, hopefully it's a daylight mission because. I do like daylight missions more than night missions. Yep, because it's the drop site for this operation will be like noon or was it midnight? Whatever. We track the alien crap. Let's see. Yeah, it's a night mission. Okay, so I guess it was midnight. <laughs> oh wow, look, look how tanky our guys are. Besides, besides, um, even Mendiola is really tanky. Not a crash, so expect heavy resistance. Yeah. Okay, so this is probably a, a long mission then, since we're doing a dual mission. Um. Does Titan armor make you go faster? I'm not sure it does. That's okay. Actually, we should have had Zang scout things out. Actually, let's see if we see any meld in the distance first. Um, oh, is that... is that... Nah. Just my eyes playing. Playing tricks on me. Where's Zang? There you are. Where shall you run? You shall run. You shall run here. I'll move like the wind. I like that attitude. Good attitude. Okay. Well, then we can bring everybody else up then. Uh, I, think, I think this is actually safe because this is like the end of the map on the left side. It's a little risky, but it's okay. So, Mendiola for a good spot. Then you. You'll run here. We'll, we'll just keep everybody like here then. Too risky, bring any further out because we might even have sectopods this mission and then life would really suck uh-oh okay so yeah that sounded like a sectopod <laughs> could be a mech toy which I really hope it is but I think it's July right so it's probably gonna be sectopods because life life doesn't like me anymore Okay, so this is, the, this is as far as we go in this direction. Bring our sniper up here. Be safe. Oh, whoa. It wasn't safe. Okay. So that was a mech toy. <laughs> okay, so that was that. Thought I'd be safe, but I guess not. Okay, well. Can't see anything, unfortunately. Um, probably be smoke up. He, they actually can't see me either. We'll smoke them regardless, because I don't know where they are. So I did bring my guys up just one step too far, it looks like. So I have a knack for doing that sometimes. Oh, did we not bring Pringle? So I guess we don't even have smoke. Yeah, that was a mistake, I should have brought Pringle. Oh well. It's okay, we'll, we'll just overwatch and blow them all. Um, That's affirmative. That was a mis that was a strategic mistake. Yeah, I don't know where they are exactly. I should pay a little more attention, but so I won't be able to launch a grenade. He's moving up. Luckily, we can't see them. For some reason, I could see them for a second. I, I guess maybe one of these spots I could have saw them. The mech toy's running up. He's gonna run up straight to us. And mech toy's good because the mech toy gives us, uh, what's it called? Mel, if we kill it. Gives you 5 mel, I think, or maybe 10. Can't remember. Yeah, okay, so. I think the shield makes it so that they take half damage from shots. Get rid of the shield, at least. Or not. We're missing with everybody. A little scary. Let's see what he does. Oh, he took two turns, so he wasn't gonna move any further. That's fine. Well, we should just take two shots and end his life. We just should just unload everything on him. Oh, nice. We also did one extra damage, too. Oh, what? Only two damage. Uh, that's annoying. I don't see a reason not to just unleash everything on him right now. Actually, let's. I'd rather give him the kill. Um, 
We should just punch him. Save the man. Oh, what the? Our guy's a little too tall, looks like. It's a little bit tree, too. Oh, he's the other guy. Can we see the other guy? Oh, it's pretty low chance. Let's just take the punch. And we can feed the kill to weapon, hopefully. That's ideally what I would like to happen. Oh, nice. Perfect. Okay, so there's some free meld we got. We'll probably, hopefully, upgrade to a level 3 mech. Actually, I don't think I've ever done the upgrade to a level 3 mech. Because usually it costs way too much meld, but, you know, I kind of want to do it just to try it out. Let's take a shot with Mediola. Chance is only moderate, but... Mediola is a pretty good shot, so I think I'll be okay. I wonder what Zane if we can position you somewhere well. Maybe we'll bring you here. Okay, we don't see anybody new either. Let's take a shot. Don't blow up that belt. Okay. Out of the game. Okay, so guess we can bring some everybody else up. Actually, let's not bring people up too far because. I kind of had an accident last time when we did that. It, Bring you up a little bit. Oh, 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 it's just. What the heck? Three sectoids. They are moving to flank me. What the heck? Life is very kind to us, isn't it? Okay, well, let's take a position up here. You won't be able to attack this turn, but that's okay. Um, oh well, the whole map changed. Um, who can you kill? Kill this guy on the ground. Yeah, it's really strange that we have sectoids, you know, right now. But I, I, I think I heard that they're a mechtoid, so... Mission could still be a little tricky. Not tricky, but it was, could be, you know some unforeseen elements coming out our way. Fortunately, our capture people are pretty far away. I think Zane's up here. Maybe if they move forward, maybe we could just capture one guy with Zane. I don't mind that either. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just keep you there. Set up our mech for whatever, and Wolf is kind of behind. Bring you up for the mill. Actually, you should just take a turn to reload since you've fired quite a lot. You're far off. Have our mech pick up the mill now that I know we can do that. We'll overwatch you with a plasma pistol. We might take a hit or two, but I'm not too worried about the damage a, a sectoid will do to me. I really hope he moves forward though, because I want to capture him. Okay, he just wants to die. Sure. Now, should I go for the capture? Well, I'm just afraid that I'll uncover things that could be very annoying. I, mean, I could bring you here out of sight. And then I could cloak you here. And we can start move, moving up to try to capture him. And let's try, let's grab the meld at least. We should have done that first. Okay, we don't see any enemies there, so we'll, we'll start advancing on the left flank then. And I don't want to take this shot just because, like I said, I want to try to capture him. So, Samantha can't really do anything to help in that respect, so I'll just start moving them back. We do need someone to shoot them with a pistol, though, so... Maybe that could be Lariska. Lariska could just hide down here. Just equip you with a pistol. Have you overwatch. And same with weapon, in case you need another pistol. Oh, 
And I'll keep you equipped with a pistol as well. Just in case he moves forward. See what he does. I mean, the advantage of... Okay, well, never mind then. Maybe I shouldn't have overwatched Mendiola. I, I, I was just gonna say, we could have captured in their plasma pistol, but weapon fragments are always good too, so... And we do need some of those. So, it's not a loss to me. Moving to designated position. Looks like there's another mech toy. I guess it's not sectopods yet. We can't be too sure. Maybe we'll sub Mendiola for this door. Um, I think one reason I'm playing a little bit more, definitely a bit more aggressively now is because we have a pretty big technological lead until they get... Like I said, I'm surprised we haven't seen a lot of things that... That I thought we'd be seeing, such as Muton Berserkers. We haven't seen many Mutons, to be honest. I mean, we saw one last wave, or last alien ship, but not too many. Maybe it's just we've been playing so many Exalt missions that I, I'm forgetting, you know. Uh, I'm forgetting about what aliens we've seen. This could be a possibility too. This will bring some math up. Time to motor. Because it's already July, right? So I know August is when shit, shit really starts happening. Oh, nothing in here. Where is the other sectopod? Or the mechtoid? Oh, it's Seekers. Actually, they're more trouble now since none of us can be suffocated, I think. Um, can can Mediola be suffocated? Let's take a look. Not sure he can. Oh, maybe he can't be suffocated. So Mediola is going to be our target then. <laughs> Moving to position. Yeah, that, that, that council request was kind of a joke. No, there's no way we're getting that many. Um, what's it called? Seeker wrecks ever. Or ghost grenades. Four ghost grenades? Who are you kidding? I'm just gonna stand here then and just probably overwatch. Samantha needs to be brought up. Oh no, that's Lariska. Well, I'll keep you on the pistol, I guess, just so we can start bringing you forward. And, yeah, the only thing the, uh, what's it called, do, the secrets do, is delay us from grabbing our meld on time. Because now we have to walk cautiously. Oh, life sucks for him. He's got annihilated. <laughs> We got combat rush too, that's always good. Let's see, what does combat rush do again? Um, com oh, okay, just bonus to everything. Always a good buff. Uh, I guess, should we move through the left or should we move through the right? I like left, so let's, or I like right, so let's go right this time. I know left has been our lucky path in the past, but. We can split up as well. There now. But, oh wait, there's still that secret, so I guess we can't really split up, per se. Okay. Yeah, this is annoying. This is costing us turns that we could be using to find the enemy. On task. Whatever. We'll find the enemy and grab the melt. Now it's weird. I thought they weren't able to suffocate mech, so does that mean he's going into point blank range to take a shot? Because I, I swore the seeker was on, um, what's it called? Daesha Ripley. Not 100% sure. Just chance are he's not going to pop up this turn. He's going to pop up the next turn. Yep. Well, I want my meld no matter what, so. 
Oh, okay. Well, maybe right was the wrong decision. Let's move left then. Oh no, I see a melt. Or never mind, those are just the fair bones. Okay, JK. <laughs> So we'll just start moving this way then. Not much to say, unfortunately, right now. Just we're trying to avoid blowing up too much stuff. We need some flight computers to build another firestorm. We actually have so that many flight computers early on. Whatever. I'm not psychic. Let me reload. Let's reload Zang just because he's down some ammo. Overwatch everybody else. And now the secret should pop up. Hello? Oh, what the heck? Oh yeah, he wants to take a shot. And we missed. That's actually not a good thing. I don't like it when they take a shot. Oh, he missed. Oh, whoa. But he did us a little favor, though. This is a big favor. Let's take a sh let's clean house on him, and then we'll have Zang advance forward. Oh, what the heck? That's okay. We got another shot, so. And now we'll bring Zang around to launch a nice little rocket for our friends next turn. Or maybe we could even go for a capture. Hmm, that's also an interesting choice. Okay, we, we don't want to peek with anybody yet. But we can start setting up for this. Uh, yeah, we want to go for these captures just so we can grab some... Grab some plasma pistols. There's no way I'm wasting my crap building a plasma pistol. Zang's not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna sit this turn out. Set up for set up for position. Zang's gonna end this turn. Okay, they're coming towards us. Oh what? He's missed that point blank range. Yeah, go ever. Fortunately, we don't really have a clean way of damaging these aliens. Uh, what's it called? Not the aliens, but the sectoids that well. For just three damage anymore. Except with, I guess with a laser pistol we could. He's moving towards us, that's perfect. Oh, we lost that Mel. We had no idea where it even was. That's gonna be five damage, unfortunately. Maybe we could just move a little forward, see the... Yeah, great. Now we can take a shot at him. Hopefully kill him. Oh, nine. Give me a break. Maybe we can see with Mendiola. Uh, nope. Probably can see if we move. It's gonna be a little bit annoying. Let's move Mendiola here then. I can't see anything. Never mind. What's our chance just to straight out capture? Oh, knife! So let's, let's just grab one of these guys. <laughs> no reason not to. And you can take a shot on him. Let's use the uh, pistol. Take sh two shots. Yeah, okay, perfect. And now, so it's 90% chance, let's try to capture this other sectoid too. Just, just to bring home some plasma pistols for the team. That's nice. Uh, the improved art throwers are really worth it. So there goes those guys. <laughs> Fortunately, we didn't grab the other meld, but whatever. Can't have everything at once. Actually, I wonder where the where they are. They're probably in here then, right? So let's set up for breaching this door next turn. The outsider. It's only gonna be one because it's a, it's a scout. 
So these two should be enough to take them all on, to be honest. We haven't really damaged the, um, what's it called? The room too much either, so that's good. But, I mean, also we should, we, we, we should, just in case we miss, bring everybody up. So we're gonna do that. We can always pick up a few more light plasma rifles. Don't mind doing that. Actually, I rather have the weapons fragments to be honest. So we're just gonna blow up those outsiders. We don't really need light plasma rifles. We want the heavy ones. We're just gonna blow them up and t and pick up their we weapons fragments because that's gonna be more um, valuable. And actually, that's probably why we haven't got so many weapons fragments. Or because we haven't seen many mutons, we haven't got many weapons fragments because. They also have a grenade which drops, you know, another, another um, two weapons fragments. Yeah, we're gonna blow these guys up just so we can pick up their fragments. Yep, they're right in there. To give, um, what's this called? Where are you? Unknown weapon to kill. If you can. It's gonna be a pretty bad day to be an outsider. Fortunately, yeah, it's pretty high defense, but and yeah, we missed. Okay, so I guess you don't want the promotion. Okay, let's just move here and get a guaranteed kill before we blow up any equipment. Excellent work. So yeah, we picked up some plasma pistols and. This is a pretty simple mission once again. I once we research um, plasma rifles, we'll, we'll take on the on the it alien was base. A successful mission, excellent work, Commander. So let's switch to let's switch our research actually from this to plasma rifle. Only four days, so hopefully we don't get any more interrupted. We might have another cover off. Oh no. Never mind. We've got a large contact. And Ooh, a large contact. We're going to have a difficult time keeping up with this one. Okay, so we only have one. Uh, what's it called? Fire storm, though. And for, I forgot to build. You know those little upgrades. Engaging bogey. Should have probably done that. Approaching target now. It's kind of funny, I've never really used a laser cannon because usually I go straight for, um, what's it called? Other things. But yeah, so this is going to be our next mission for tomorrow then. Might do a, we're going to have plasma weapons shortly after, so that's going to be a big boom. So the mission after that, we're probably going to, um, assault the alien base and then a covert ops and then the, that should lead us to the exalt base. So it's going to be a pretty exciting time for our for a little playthrough so thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this episode feel free to leave a like and then if you want to join our squad we're still looking for members so leave your name what role you want to be in you know maybe a little bio gene mods if you want to be mech we might need another mech in the future so that's something to think about and yeah if you want to see more from the series please click that subscribe button because that's a really cool thing to do so thanks for watching guys x-ram bear signing out